Welcome to another video. This is how to solve a forces on submerged plane surface problem. Today is May 14th, 2014. This is a hydrostatics problem and which is covered in fluid mechanics dynamics part of EITFE exam. So let's get to the problem. This is the problem. This is a picture of the problem, and it's not drawn to scale. The tank is filled with water. Find the force of the inclined portion, one meter wide, and the distance between the center of pressure and the center of gravity. So first off, here are the relevant formulas. Number one is the hydrostatics force formula which I have first as F is equal to gamma times H sub C times A, which was in my review book. However, in the EIT reference handbook, they give it to you as F subscript is uh, R net, or just R with the P naught, which I've not shown here. This force is the same thing. It is equal to rho G times y sub c times sine theta times a. Rho is of course uh, the density, g is gravity. Rho times g is equal to the gamma shown in the first line, so that's the equivalent. y sub c is the h sub c, but only for the tank. Sine theta, sine theta is the sine of the tank, the surface of the tank, and A is the area of the plane, the inclined plane that you are uh, solving for. Number two is the difference in center of pressure and center of gravity formula. This is given as Y sub C P equals Y C plus I X sub C uh, I sub X sub C, so this is just I variable, divided by Y sub C times A. Uh, these are, of course, this Y is for the center of pressure, this is the center of gravity, this is the inertia of the moment, uh, what is it, the inertia around the axis X. This Y sub C is the same Y sub C and uh, A is the area of the plane. And over here I just subtracted it to the other side. Y sub C P minus Y sub C equals yada da da da. Yeah. Alright, let's continue. Givens. So this is the first part of our question. Uh, this is the form of written outs. So this is all of the variables that we need. So first off, since this is a water uh, liquid. This is water. The liquid is water. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So that's already given. Just got a message. G is equal to 9.81 meters per second square. That is also given. So these two are pretty easy to figure out. Uh, y sub C, we're not sure yet. Well, I'm sure, but I'll tell you very soon. So sine theta, as I said, the theta is of the surface of the tank. So the theta right here is 90 degrees. So sine of theta, sine of 90, is equal to 1. And finally, the area of this inclined plane is, well, you can figure this out by the drawing. This is 3, 4. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle kind of uh, incline so this would be 5 which is shown here and then it's also shown in the problem or given in the problem that it was 1 meter wide right here so that's why the area is 5 times 1 which equal to or 1 times 5 equal to 5 meters square right so now time for the y sub c part that we have to find out Y sub C, the C is for centroid, is found by 
looking at this 5 this 5 is right here so this is the length of the or basically the height of the, the inclined plane so the centroid of just is a rectangle would be half of the height so 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5 so if we just take the height divided by 2 then why not take the other size of it so over here would be 2.5 from the 5 the 4 would become a 2 because 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and a 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so from here the very top to this point was 3 meters and including the centroid of this incline plane would be 1.5 so your y of c would be 3 from here plus 1.5 is equal to 4.5 alright so now that we have our, our variables we can plug our numbers in so rho is equal to 1000 your g is equal to 9.81 y sub c is 4.5, sine of theta is 1, your area is equal to 5, and when you solve all that out in the calculator, you get 220,725 newtons as your hydrostatic force. But wait, we're not done yet. Let's do this uh, second part of this problem. The distance of the center of pressure and center of gravity, cop and cog. So this was the formula, just to uh, show it to you again. And this is the picture again. Uh, so basically, how do you find this part? Because I guess this whole chunk is your big variable. I guess you could put as delta y as a distance between the two. Uh, so this, as I said before, is the inertia the moment of inertia around the x-axis this part is y sub c but this is different now it's not the same y sub c as we used before that's why I used l sub c down here and a is a so because it's a rectangular plane this would be your formula to use for your uh, moment of inertia around the x-axis because this formula corresponds to a rectangle rectangular plane so first off how do you find L sub C now as opposed to the Y sub C that we had before this is uh, with respect to the plane itself so half of the plane would be the centroid of the plane 2.5 plus the plane itself the height of it would be 5 so L sub C is equal to 5 plus 2.5 is equal to 7.5. I'm not really sure how that works exactly, but I just know that it's the original plus the centroid, which is half. Uh, 5 plus 2.5 is equal to 7.5. So we plug that in and we get 1 as your base, uh, 5 was your height, so 5 cubed divided by 12 all over the L sub C that we've just found, 7.5 times the area, 5 times 1. And we plug that into a calculator, or very strong mental math, uh, you get 0 0.28 meters as your distance. And that's how you solve a hydrostatics problem that revolves around an inclined plane. Thanks for watching.